outside like we've been talking about, but no air conditioning inside. Those are the conditions seniors were forced to suffer through at a senior living complex in St. Anne. And News 4's John Kipper found that was just the tip of the iceberg. Yeah, that's right, David. We were at the facility earlier this afternoon, and while the AC did turn back on for the most part, it was still very hot in certain places, leaving some seniors with health conditions unable to beat the heat. I slept with my door open and just prayed nobody come and came in on me. Seniors with serious health conditions stuck in a hot building with no running water. The building was too hot. Sidney Harden was able to escape his sweltering hot 14th floor apartment to crash at his friend's home. Harden's heart condition does not allow him to be anywhere above 85 degrees. Heat rises, so my apartment is too hot for me to be there. And when I tried to stand up, I was getting dizzy and lightheaded. News 4 went into the Santa Ana apartment complex around 445 today. It's very stuffy. Finally, the water and air conditioning is back on for the most part. We're in one apartment on the 11th floor. And just to give you an example of the heat, the AC is on high. But if you can tell, the temperature inside the room is somewhere in the mid 80s. But as we roamed around, we found other issues. I am still living with mold on my AC unit, blowing the mold into my home. We went inside Barbara Cassidy's unit and found mold in multiple spots. And she wasn't the only resident with mold. It has appeared some recent flooding added to the issue. It has flooded out uh, last week. Uh, the mold is growing tremendously in my closet. Along with other creatures, creeping around. The roaches I still have. News 4 reached out to Eagle Point Companies, the business that runs the facility. It's based in Maine, calling about an apartment complex in St. Anne, Missouri. News 4 also called the management number for the complex itself. We still have not heard back. Walking through the facility, we saw ceiling tiles missing in multiple places. We're told there was also a kitchen fire on Tuesday. Some residents say they never even heard a fire alarm. All these problems causing serious mental health issues for some that call this building home. I'm 56 years old. I feel like I'm sitting here waiting to die. And we still have not heard back from Eagle Point at this outer at this hour. And out of around a dozen people we spoke to on and off camera, almost every single one told us they don't believe the company employee treats them with respect. In fact, one person told me they feel like a prison inmate. Reporting in studio, John Kipper, News 4. John, thank you.